Uh, welcome to the Duck Boys podcast. This is episode number five, six, six five, We're on six, six. Five. Yeah, I, I just count. uploaded five. Oh well, that six did six. So it's been a long <laughs> week. <It's> been... <laughs> yeah, you could say. <laughs> yeah, uh, Addie's here. Uh, I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, Jamie. <laughs> Oh man, that's the thing that uh, happened. That's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah awesome. as, we have a guest. <laughs> yeah, as Addie kind of spoiled, but lovingly. <laughs> uh, Did I just ignore her. <laughs> she has well, a point. They she does have me. a point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Jamie. Jamie Dehart. Uh, she Hello. is a longtime friend of mine, uh, and also an uh, ex podcaster with me. Uh, yeah. For one of my classes, we had to do a podcast, or I had to do a podcast. And uh, we did it about comics. Ow. Sorry. I'm yeah, a bunch of nerds. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, we're thinking about re- revitalizing that. And uh, it's that's in the works. Uh, we're going to have to try to b- put it into our very busy schedule. But yeah, Jamie, say hello to the world. Hello, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. All right. So All right. jumping in. Tristan, you said you had something for us. Yeah. Um. So my cousin Gino, right, um, he texted me or he snapchatted me a video and it was, he was on Netflix and he searched up Nazi. And for some odd reason, the, oh one God. of the first things that came up was Penguins of Madagascar. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Actually. Honestly, it kind of does, right? Like, <laughs> smile and wave. Just smile and wave, boys. <laughs> I really wish you'd cleared this before we started the podcast because I don't have a fully formulated thought for that. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, though, if you think about it. A march into uh, Skipper. Skipper's is his own man. They could have definitely been a Nazi. Like, Wait, who the squad. fuck's Skipper? Skipper's the main guy, dude. The main penguin? His name is Skipper? Yeah. It's Skipper and Kowalski and Rico and Private. Yeah. I don't think I ever knew that. Uh, Rico's the one that swallows everything. Kowalski's mm-hmm. the smart guy. Private's the dumbass. It's yeah, basically I private. It's basically basically uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but um, let me get bird. Yeah, <laughs> think about it. Flight <laughs> bird. It's like bird. it's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and then meets like Ed and Eddie plus one. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. I I still don't have one fully formulated thought for this podcast. You know, yet. it's okay. Lights on, no one's home. Brain empty. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, <laughs> six. Leave the light on for you. The reason uh, Addie's here and my setup looks a little different. Um, I'm on quarantine right now. Um, I'm not infected. That we know of. Uh, I went to go get tested today. There was a rapid test, or not a rapid test. There was just a free COVID test, and so within 72 hours, I'm going to find out. A rapid um, turnaround of three full days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, do you, are yeah. you gonna explain or should, do you want to explain or just no? I mean, if you can do a quick one, yeah, sure. Basically, <laughs> um, I'm within a sports team. The sports team is not always the smartest. Um, they, <laughs> <laughs> um, down. they knew we had a positive case. That girl was sitting out, but one of the girls who hangs out with her a lot came to practice. They were gonna test because we get tested 25 percent at a time. So like. Five people are getting tested after practice anyways. This girl who hangs out with the girl who is positive went to practice, went through practice, and then got tested, tested positive. I was in direct contact with her, so therefore I needed to be quarantined, which makes sense, but at the same time, doesn't make sense. because, Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay. And then she didn't find out until uh, she already had come over. So, you know, we decided like, hey, uh, we'll just quarantine together. So it's been, we're like a weekend now, pretty much. The hell, I guess that's a better way to pass time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, like, I rearranged my room. Um, I've been focusing a lot of, I've, like, the thing is, what I noticed about this semester is I still have a shit ton of work to do. So, like, I've just been sitting at my computer all this time, just still just doing homework. Like, my life would not be too different if I was there, if I was not on quarantine. Like yeah, if I'm not at the line. coffee shop, I'm sitting here on my computer doing homework. Yeah. Yeah. You sound like the dad from Coraline. But poor bent over old man. You know, oh. the glasses. I feel I feel bad because like I didn't go through the Coraline phase. 
You didn't? No, I know. Like, seeing what I was an angsty teen, but I never went through the core line phase. That's okay. It wasn't. I think that's an identifiable core line phase. <laughs> it, it had to be a I don't section think I really of your life. Either. Yeah, because I mean, like, I ne I've never seen it. I know about I, it. Yeah, I know. I know the face. Uh, Jamie's face it. just dropped for those who are listening on the podcast. <laughs> I, I did it out of spite. My sister, it terrified my sister. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, coward, I'll watch it. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it, but I like, like, when I was little, I liked scary movies. So that was like scary movie for me being like, what, eight? I don't know how old I was when yeah, I was. Yeah, I was a bitch when I was little. It, it literally wasn't until. You still are a bitch. <laughs> no. No, it wasn't until my mom called me out because like Annabelle was about to come out in theaters and she really wanted to go see it. And, and she was like, Tristan, we got to go see it. And I was like, mom, we're not going to go. We're not going to go watch that. And she's like, she's like, well, here, let's watch Conjuring first and then go watch Annabelle. And I was like, hell no. And she's like, don't be a bitch. And I was like, damn. All right, mom. So my mom called me a bitch. So that means uh, I had to go and watch it. So I, I watched hey. it and I love horror movies now. Like they're Mama V. Love that woman. <laughs> Love I love the image of Sandra getting down on one knee and getting eye level with you and being like, you're fucking weenie. No, the Watch thing the was, movie. I was fucking taller than her because I was like, I don't know, 14, 15 at that point. You know, my mom's my mom's tiny, dude. I was a bitch. <laughs> I assumed you were younger. No, nah, bro, I was a bitch. <laughs> Animo came out in like 2014, 2015. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't put it past his mom to get down on her knee and look at him and say, don't be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, like still like having to like just stare straight up at me, me being all like five foot, like at that point, like five nine, five ten. <laughs> and my mom being all five two already, still getting down on one knee, looking straight up at me and be like, don't be a bitch. I would absolutely love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay all the money in the world to see that. <laughs> uh, all right, Sam, do you want to bring in our uh, our first official topic other than Nazi penguins? And uh, um, bitch? Uh, as far as a first official, do you, do you want the soft topic that I talked about beforehand that was a small collection of items or? Sure, I think we can kind of segue <laughs> into the next one with that one. Yeah. This is not recent or relevant whatsoever, but um, I guess it's semi-relevant depending on what your opinions on the matter are. Uh, recently, within like the last half month, month or so, there's been, you know, some Kim Kanye drama. I think everybody's heard a little bit about that. Divorce, maybe. Who knows? Um, something, 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 Jeffree Star. Something, something. Was yeah. that a publicity stunt? I don't know. Most definitely. For, for Jeffree Star? Because, like, I know his cosmetic line has been going down, and, like, when it, the allegations that him and Kanye were sleeping together came about, that everybody was like, oh, my God. No, it was probably the GameStop boys. Sorry, yeah. did you like these fresh lips? These are the same ones that sucked off Kanye. You can actually just <laughs> pop over to my cosmetic line right now. <laughs> Can you imagine? The lipstick doesn't smudge. Doesn't smudge, no doesn't smudge, move anything. No wear, no tear. <laughs> Battle tested. I don't know what the fuck dry lips are. <laughs> All he got with these soggy bastards over here. Battle tested. Battle so, <laughs> bring it back around, very loosely related to everything that's been going on recently. Uh, it's a collection of Kanye tweets that are just old tweets from Kanye's Twitter over the years. I'm going to read them in the order that they're presented. <clears throat> do you know where to find marble conference tables i'm looking to have a conference but not until i get the table though okay that's it that's, yeah word <laughs> all right hard this Tell one them to is check from it. this one is from <laughs> december of 2013 i wish i could run across a beach into my own arms <laughs> me too kanye me too <laughs> all right uh February of 2014 have you ever thought you were in love with someone and then realized you were just staring in a mirror for 20 minutes <laughs> I'm gonna get that one tatted right here right there yep. all that right there that's all tricep oh my that's God. And then whoever went to the effort to compile these tweets together there's a four year gap and then in April 2018 I no longer have a manager. I cannot be managed. <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that I, one. I've never seen that one too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that one. 
that that's 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 my cold little that, that's my slip in for the podcast that's really one those are all addressed. t-shirts that you would see on a facebook ad like you know the ones that like have like bullets and tigers and shit on them and try to be like extra hard oh. just like that but like i don't have a manager oh. anymore but i cannot be managed <laughs> I thought you meant like the shit that was like the. I was born in January. My mother <laughs> is a Gemini. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. My specialization is a welder. Sometimes I drink too much. Uh, but it, something, something. My mom bought me this shirt. You, you get the drill. You know, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, and yeah. like the Disney shirts that say like. Um, my first time at Disney, and then the dad shirt says, "Like I paid for her first trip to Disney." Yeah, or something like exactly. That. Yeah, and like you know, like all their wives or like significant others, all they're all mini and moms, like all of them are. Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. That same Facebook ad is just some dude with like a rolled up beanie and like the round frame glasses, <laughs> and it's just a white T shirt that says, "I wish I could run across a beach into my own arms." <laughs> <laughs> But it's but it's photoshopped onto the shirt. Yeah, no, like the actual shirt was just a plain white tee. <laughs> <laughs> like everything was just eloquently photoshopped onto it. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's my piece. So speaking of minion moms, uh, LeBron James cussed out a seemingly minion mom, or she was called a courtside Karen by uh, LeBron himself. I know it didn't really correlate. I was just trying to make a connection. I, no. How am I supposed it to? Reach turned into a stretch. Well, yeah. I've done some math. The one carries over, but only barely. <laughs> so courtside Karen. Yeah, courtside Karen. Catch uh, me up, because all I all I heard was that it happened. I don't know what yeah. she said. I don't know how she so acted. So basically, her husband is this like 70-year-old dude who just definitely took steroids. He's this beefy looking old man. And he was courtside at one of the uh, Lakers games. And he, it was like Lakers and Hawks. And he's a Hawks fan. So he was like, he was like shouting at LeBron, Jesus Christ, Origin, get the fuck out of my way. Sorry, my screen was fucking up. Uh, no. Uh, so yeah, he was going and he was like talking shit to LeBron. But because there's only like, I don't know, maybe 200 people in that big ass stadium, LeBron heard him. And he was courtside. <laughs> Felicity, come here. Come here, please. That's my girl, Felicity. Felicity, come here. Okay, okay, okay. I did hear about this. I I only heard one extra bit of information, but it's clicking now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard any of this. So, okay. So, basically, what uh, happens is uh, he said some shit. Like, the, the guy, steroid boy, st- said some shit. And LeBron goes, like, something about, like, oh, steroid ass. Or right, old steroid head ass or some shit. The only thing that came up on the mic, this is what I heard. The only thing that came up on the mics from the game, the only thing that carried over for the audio was steroid taking ass. Yeah, that so was the only thing that came through. Yeah, it's the only thing that came through. And uh and so then she or courtside Karen, who's a 25-year-old who looks like she's a 40-year-old trying to be 25-year-old, uh she's his wife. <laughs> And she was trying to, like, she was, like, defending her man's kind of thing and was, like, cussing out LeBron. And then they got kicked out of the game. The the two, the the man and wife got kicked out of the game. LeBron even admitted saying that he wouldn't have kicked him out of the game. He was just kind of saying his piece to it. And so, you know, it's a very sided conversation or, like, conflict on the internet right now of, you know, LeBron had the right to do that because, you know, somebody was smack talking to him and you shouldn't be like you should be expected to like take the shit back right while others were saying like well he she was defending her man and so you know she was not in the wrong at all i mean it is a sports game and like people are gonna talk shit no matter whose side you're on <clears throat> and i mean i guess like lebron should be able to take smack talk because he's been playing sports for years now you know mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, he had a bad day. Like it, it happens to the best of us. I guess I don't. Yeah, know. no, I mean, like, I don't know who would be in the right and who would be in the wrong. Everybody's talking shit, but yeah, no, LeBron was definitely like, I don't think they should have been like taken out. But I think the reason their reasoning to take her out was because she was taking off her mask to yell at him, 
Oh. And so they're like, oh, you're not pro- following mass protocol, so you got to go. Mm. I believe that was what the reasoning was. Interesting. Because I, I saw the video and she definitely had her mask down. And... We'll say a picture of the dude did crop up. The one that I happen to come across, and he looks like that episode where SpongeBob, uh, the episode of SpongeBob where he gets inflatable arms. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like that. Mm-hmm. Or it looked like so that, and then with uh, like imagine those arms on SpongeBob, but then whenever him and Patrick get like super fucking tan. Oh like, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 one where you have to be a certain tan to get into the party. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Sun bleached. I'm bleached. Pulls out the extra bit of the card. <laughs> also, it's objectively kind of funny that an episode like that that came out so long ago, you look at now and like you have to be a certain color to enter this party. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Would not have flown today. Yeah, not anymore. It's, it's one of those things. Take Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> the darker, the better. And then white is supreme. That's what I got out of that. <laughs> you you said that you said it hey i said <laughs> it it's fine i can say it i'm dark i'm not all the way dark darker than me that's not hard that's a low bar yeah yeah me too yeah really white. i would say i was like i was like uh sam i think jamie has you beat on whitest here that's very rare i can yeah. lend you for that <laughs> It's a. It's really hard. <laughs> she grew it herself. It's a God-given yeah. gift. I can, can go I in the sun for five minutes and get a sunburn. Jesus. Yeah. When uh, me and Tristan worked together, um, I we we would go outside and like push carts at our local grocery store, and I would have to sit there and put sunscreen on so that I wouldn't burn profusely. I remember and... you staring at her like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> It was it was a fun time for sure. She had the stereotypical little white dab of sunscreen out on the nose. I should have done it just out of spite. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so the next topic says um, Sam brought this one up, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember I got like the two main points out of it. Uh, I put gay country down. What what's what's that about? Okay, so this is semi-niche but it's forcing its way into the a more mainstream conversation i thought this was pretty interesting i was reading up uh, at work about this yesterday and day before i believe uh so right now the country is having its own little uh come to jesus moment as it were as a, as a genre uh country is very heavily tied to the south and the south is also very heavily tied to a a troubled past as it were <laughs> That would be the polite way that Southerners would put it. The way that you should actually put it is that the South has a very racist, a heavily racist past. Yeah. Um, that being said, this all ties back into country due to the fact that Morgan Wallen, who's a fairly prominent member of modern country, the, the modern country scene, uh, video service of him a while back, um, using the n-word you know is a very very heavily laden racial slur i don't think that's news to anybody no and a very mixed response to that um, surprisingly but, right yeah. which <laughs> is surprising i'm like hey haven't we moved past that yet but it's also surprising that there are people within the country community that are like that's bad <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I commend the growth and maybe moving past some of my own personal biases that I had or preconcept, preconceived ideas. Um, a, a lot of people that are coming forward that are also prominent members of the country community saying that um, this is a bad thing, condemning him on the matter. Um, at the same time, sort of in a, in a weird coincidence of fate, maybe, while we're struggling with this one aspect of country, um, another aspect of country came up. Um, the South is, you know, also heavily religious and oftentimes in a, in a, in a more negative light, conveying the more negative aspects that can come with that. Uh, a group called the Brothers Osborne, uh, it's, a, it's a set of two brothers. One of them just came out as gay, which makes them one of the very, very, very few openly gay country artists. And there's been a huge outpouring of support um, 
for him as well, which I think is sort of, I don't know, for me anyways, signaling this this shift or this change within country music as, as a genre and a community. Right. Uh, I think it's really cool that he felt like he could like, obviously like it's 2021 and it's like, it's accepted to like come out and be like gay or part of the LGBTQ plus community. But like, especially in country, I know it was like, probably really hard for him. Oh, for sure. Really cool. I think it's really cool that he was able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Part of the commentary that he made on it is that he said he wanted to decide, he decided to come out now because they're starting to gain a lot of traction. And he said, I wanted to reach the peak of my career as who I actually was rather than hiding that so that I could maybe get further along in my in my country career. He wanted That's to be awesome. himself when he got to the top which I, I think is super, super, super commendable. I think it's super noble for wanting to be, like, gain a popularity or gain listens or whatever, being your true authentic self. I think that's really, like, really cool of him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I thought that was just worth a mention, at least that's something yeah. that stuck out to me in this past week that I thought was worthy of discussion and attention. All right. Uh, sorry, we took a little break there. Uh, anyways. To kind of stay on the gay train, uh, Jojo Siwa. <laughs> gay icon. <laughs> gay icon. The, the new Ellen DeGeneres, but not a bitch. All right. Not a Bro, bitch. <laughs> I, I've hated Ellen since the moment I knew about her. I, like, legitimately, <laughs> like, I remember I got so much hate in school. They were like, Jojo, or not Jojo, fucking Ellen DeGeneres is like, a goddess she's so kind she's i was like nah there's something about her i just don't like the way she looks i was like she just there's something that just freaks me out about her that's like oh you're you're a bitch i don't like you see i was on the exact opposite side of that spectrum me and my mom i would come home from school and we would watch the three o'clock ellen special <laughs> we would sit there for an hour after school we would eat our snack <laughs> and watch ellen <laughs> and no. I just remember I'd I'd walk into like the like the dentist office or some shit like that and they'd have it on. I was like, ugh. And just like yeah. You said this bitch again. <laughs> I think the best thing Ellen ever did was play the role of Dory because she constantly forgot who she was. <laughs> oh fuck. That was good. That's, good. that's I like my that one. opinion on the matter. Yes. That, and then that, I was like really sad when I found out she was just like a terrible person. <laughs> I remember me and my mom sat there be, like, You mean gay really? people can suck too? <laughs> Damn, Damn. It. Damn. I thought we had one safe Damn. thing. <laughs> I thought we had one sanctuary. <laughs> I thought this was guaranteed. Hey, say what you will about Jojo Siwa. That woman is a businesswoman. Yes, she is. Does yes, she, she is. And you know what? I would wear a bow for a band too. <laughs> there you go. Her Not ability to craft an image, I think, is damn near unparalleled. Yeah. She's on Guy Fieri levels of crafting an image. You know exactly who <laughs> she is yeah. the moment she comes on. You could take every, you could take her face out of the picture. Just leave the bow and the sparkly ass jacket, and yep. you would still know who it was. Yeah, one hundred percent. They have her face on underwear. That's weird. Like, there's Jojo Siwa underwear. How old is she? She oh doesn't matter. God. Doesn't matter. I I mean I She's know like it doesn't. Hold on. Seventeen, eighteen. Jojo Siwa. Let me see. Her name is Jolene. That's adorable. It doesn't matter how old she is. No, yeah, she's seventeen. Her face shouldn't be on underwear. She's seventeen. I know, I was, my That's niece, weird. who was four, it loves Jojo Siwa. Wants everything Jojo. And we were at the at fucking J C Penney's. <laughs> Jojo Siwa underwear and I was like this is where I draw the line Jojo like, like, in like what respect like where's the location of the face all over it oh it's not like one specific spot like and bows and like stuff like backyardigans or like you know animated stuff I don't care because I'm like whatever like you know it's kid underwear kind of, but Jojo bro I'll send you a picture of it yeah send me a picture of it I'll see if I can throw it up here if if it's up there, it's up there. If it's not, it's not. Uh, but I was like, this is where I draw the line. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. 
I bought my niece a really big sparkly bow instead. That was I was like, you want wise choice. <laughs> wise choice. Yeah. Um, I, I was gonna say, speaking of sparkling things, um, yeah, fuck it. Speaking of sparkling things, uh, bald head Jeff Bezos is basically Lex Luthor. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> You look like it, that was the same energy of like that screen cap of it's always sunny where he's just like he's got yeah, a he's in just, the background he's like, like just trying to make the different yeah um, again uh, we're gonna try to up the editing skills aka my skills um, I know how to do this I just I'm most of the time too lazy uh, okay. but uh, I'm gonna throw up the picture that I sent you earlier Sam here Jamie I'll send you the picture uh, <laughs> it's a it's a side by side of fucking Jeff Bezos and lex luther and it's oh. <laughs> it's like uncanny dude like it's scaringly uncanny give me one second hold on where where is it i i know i deleted it a second ago <laughs> there's something about like multi-billionaire tycoon energy that, uh. it, it, that bald white dudes have i don't know it just feels evil here it is here. dr phil he's there too <laughs> if you're bald and, and a dr. white dude phil. And also super rich you're probably evil here we go, Jamie. I'm sending it. Oh, wait, just kidding. <laughs> uh, there it is. I almost sent you another meme. I mean, I'll send you the meme too. Uh, but uh, yeah, no. Dude, he looks just like him. He looks just like him. But yeah, anyways, the reason we started talking about Jeff Bezos was. Oh, was that he stepped <laughs> down as, uh, as the CEO of uh, Amazon. But he stepped up as a chairman, chairman, right? Yeah, he's just chairman now. Uh, so less he's money, been... technically, but more power. I am. Mm, how can I? How can I do better? <laughs> yeah, how can I do better? You know what? I have all the money in the fucking world. Let me just have all the power too. And he's just gonna oh. get a couple more wrinkles on his face, and uh, you know. I am the Senate. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Man just turned into Palpatine. He's on his way there. Just gonna start shooting lightning out of his fingertips. And just, unlimited power. <laughs> unlimited <laughs> power. So, you know his net worth? Have you looked that up? No. It's like a hundred eighty-four point six billion dollars oh is his my net worth. God. Holy fuck. <laughs> I want to say there was some day during quarantine where he made like fifteen billion dollars in a single day. I bet you because everybody was in quarantine wanting to buy shit because they had nothing mm -hmm. else to do. Yeah. We all did it. I know we, we all did. did. I was guilty. Yeah. Bro, I, I was guilty of it street? just the other day. <laughs> you see this shit? I got this shit off of Amazon. As you fucking should. As I fucking should. Absolutely. I bought a... I don't like having JoJo see like Wes's big in. ass head on this. I love you, girl, but damn, that's, it was kind of scary. On my other monitor, I just had JoJo see what just like right back at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, that wasn't Jojo Siwa's head. That was Mamir from God of War. <laughs> <laughs> Easily confused, I suppose. But I guess they you know, very both. similar, but they're very different. <laughs> Hair tight back and everything, you know, big bows. <laughs> Sparkly. <laughs> yeah, Je Je Jeff Bezos. Keep an eye on that man. Just because he's stepping down as Amazon CEO doesn't mean it's over yet. It means he's gonna step up and try to fight fucking Superman sometime soon. <laughs> Try to next thing you know, some like alien from another planet is gonna come in and it's fucking brainiac. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna merge with this bitch. Do I'm we gonna know who's it. gonna be the new CEO? Uh ooh, I forgot who I wanna say hold on, let me see. Uh Joe uh, see what you John name? Amazon. John Amazon. John Yeah. New CEO of Amazon. It still says Jeff Bezos. Don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess we don't know yet. Maybe it's not confirmed. I don't know. Yeah, or we're yeah, done. I, we're bad at researching. It's... Could be that too. Who will be the next CEO? Uh, Andy J. Uh, wait, hold on. Amazon founder Jeff Anthony Bezos. Anthony Jezelnik. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos will transition from CEO to executive chair and pass the reins to Andy Jassy. Uh, J A S S Y J C Jassy, a 24 year Amazon veteran. Later this year, the company announced on Tuesday. That was uh, 14 hours ago. Uh, today we are filming this on Thursday, uh, and so and had some complications as, on Wednesday. So yeah, and <laughs> so you'll be seeing this on Friday, as long as the editor, me, uh, gets his shit in check. 
<laughs> All right. So we've 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 covered a, a fair amount today. We've, we've covered uh, uh, old Kanye, uh, uh-huh. Jeffrey Star, uh, right, in, in coordination with Kanye, uh, Jojo Siwa, mm-hmm. correct, Ellen DeGeneres, right. Uh, we, um, uh, oh, the the whole um, gay country thing. Oh uh, yes, Morgan Wallen, uh, mm-hmm. and then also uh, Brothers Check. Osborne. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, Lex Luthor. And Lex Luthor, yeah. And Lex Luthor. Uh, so and, that brings and, us and Anthony Jeselnik, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Anthony Jeselnik. <laughs> uh, that brings us to a new segment that we're going to try to do with all our guests, and it's Never Have I Ever. Oh my God. We're going to learn a little bit about everybody. Because we're about here, to get real personal in here. <laughs> yeah, we're about to know a lot of things. Jeez. Everybody's going to know about us by the end of this. Like, <laughs> We're gonna at the end of the t- at the uh, at some point in our hopeful fame, uh, we'll make a game for ourselves. It's like, okay, who's the worst person in your eyes? <laughs> Whoa! Oh dang! Oh dang! <laughs> it just gets really deep. It's a really deep game. It's a really thought provoking game. It's uh, it's progressive as fuck. Um, What's the purpose of life. <laughs> You have to smoke while doing it. But you have to be like, ha- have like a CBD cigarette and a glass of like, you know. Yeah, water. at the very least. You depending on which state you're in. cigarettes. <laughs> uh, if you're fancy as fuck, get one of the, the, the long ass cigarettes they had in the 20s. Oh, with oh the said, like, like yeah. Bill? yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've always wanted like one a of ring. those. Yeah, exactly. All right, so. Um, who wants to go first? I'm gonna let you uh, look. I guess. Um, well, I guess I'm. I basically how we're gonna play this sir. is, I have the cards, all the cards. You can buy this at. Uh, I think I got this at Target. I want to say. All right. So, uh, promo for Target. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you want to play along, go ahead. If not, whatever. Uh, but go ahead, everybody. Put ten up. Oh hell! Here we do you go. Do ten or five. How, how we wanna... We'll do 10 and then we'll call that good. All right. All right. This might go quickly. This might go quickly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, never have I ever thought about sleeping with my second cousin. All right. Come on, Alabama. Who's there? Nope. All right. Good. Good. I was about to say, I was like, that's real sus, boys. That's good. <laughs> uh, never have I ever peed in a pool or hot tub. When I was little. Yeah, I was like, yeah. when I was little, I was like, in the, within the past, like, I would say like 10 years, no. The last yeah. time I peed in a pool was like three weeks ago. I mean, it's not like that. <laughs> Bro, it was like, cold. This, is, it, this is the weekend thing. <laughs> I wasn't in the pool. I was standing outside peeing. <laughs> I just peed it. He said, y'all hold up. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> it's fucking snowing as of three weeks ago. It was, dude, it's apparently supposed to snow at least where my parents are at uh next weekend hmm. yeah. no way yeah it's good it's gonna be like 20 <laughs> <laughs> it's like 27 it's gonna be like 27 degrees Ooh. yeah right uh dope. right now we're we're at um i think i can speak for all of us and say it's like 80 i know today it hit like 81 for me I mean, you got the, it like they barely capped 70 here but it's still very nice it was yeah. like 75 here yeah which makes sense for all our regions yeah uh, never have I ever let an animal lick my genitals. Ew. <laughs> Come on, Tristan. <laughs> no, no, no. Felicity and I are close, but we're not that close. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, no. Um, uh, <laughs> never have I ever given someone a dirty Sanchez. What the fuck's a dirty Sanchez? Look it up. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I am proud to say no. No. <laughs> Sam, I'm looking at you, buddy. My drink. There ain't no way. <laughs> no. Wait, sir. why is one of your fingers that? Which one did you do? That was the pee in the pool. We all did that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you I thought you had two fingers. I thought you had yeah, I thought you had two fingers down. No. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, we've had some really fucking horrible ones other than one. Uh, never have I ever had a golden shower. Uh-uh. It's it's when you let somebody pee on you. Ew. Nope. Yeah. I'm familiar. 
yeah that that one i i'll, I'll keep in the podcast the other one uh kind yeah. of a lot of editing to do this one all right <laughs> um never have ever never have i ever dumped someone and hooked up with another person in the same day same day it's <laughs> jp hey we're medicated now it's okay <laughs> Wait, what did you say? A true yeah, queen. Really a true queen. Uh, Addy called you a true queen. Thank you, Addy. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Know your worth. <laughs> know your worth. I almost, I almost cracked open a drink for that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, never ever bought condoms from the dollar store. No. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There, are, there are a few things that you never, ever go cheap on. Uh, Q-tips, toilet paper, um, contraceptives yeah you never ever take the cheap route on those no never and never vodka. never <laughs> and vodka uh, tequila true. too also true uh <laughs> never have i ever taken a coast to coast shit i think that means like you get on a plane and then you fly and then you shit over there like you hold the shit in you should probably google that should i look, look that one up uh don't just <laughs> coast to coast uh, shit. When you are in a plane and you stay in the washroom the whole time. Ah, close, but no cigar. <laughs> no. no. Um, this is a toughie. My mom yeah. vomited in one of those birth bags, and when she vomited it, it broke in the glove of the seats. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of traumatic. Did y'all hear her? No. Unfortunately. Do I need to retell the story? Yeah, here, real quick. Do I have to get in the mic? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so uh, yeah, one time me and my mom were flying back from California and she gets bad motion sickness. So she had been like doing good the whole flight. Yeah, get ready, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, warning. If you don't like vomit, don't listen to this story. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, so we land, like as we're landing, she starts throwing up into the little barf bag they give you. But the problem is the bag isn't strong enough. So it breaks and oh. all over the floor and stuff <laughs> as my mom is still vomiting. And like, I think she ends up like vomit. Like she, she had to get these like napkins from a lady next to her. And like, she just left it on the ground on the flight and attended how to get it. So <laughs> oh. that's my input for planes. Bye. All right, you're good. <laughs> no. <Not> damn. <laughs> Sam no. has a sensitivity to things such as vomit. I have, Sorry, I have thrown up. I have thrown up so much in my life. I, I just can't. <laughs> oh <Yeah. my> God. <laughs> what? Sorry, Sam. I didn't know. It, it, it's not your fault. <laughs> you said it's not your fault. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, no to the coast to coast shit. So no. never have I ever chosen to play video games over sex. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's good? Hey man, so I had to fight the Minotaur at some point. <laughs> to... Excuse you, I was unconscious. I was asleep when the Minotaur you fought the Minotaur. I'm so pissed about that. I am pissed. Yeah, it's fine. In the dog house. <laughs> Never have I ever had more than one speeding ticket in one day. Jesus, I know my cousin has. In one day? In one day. I've never mm-hmm. had a speeding ticket. <laughs> oh, you knock on wood right now. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Here. Uh, never have I ever had a crippling addiction. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, um, we're gonna carry on. Never have I ever tried to con- contact a deceased person. I mean, like, I've prayed to, like, I've prayed to my grandfather. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so, so I guess so. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the L. I've done the same with my grandma. Yeah. Okay, I'll flick yeah. My boyfriend, the necromancer. <laughs> the necromancer. <laughs> we were watching Jeopardy, and um, Joanna tried to say acronym. <laughs> <laughs> Acrobat. Necromancy. <laughs> Necromancy. That's right. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I've messed up on some pronunciations before, but I don't know that I've ever mistaken. Then I think she got circus, like circus act with <laughs> a prevented sorcery <laughs> to raise the dead. To... Oops. <laughs> Tries to do a flip and then just fucking 
<laughs> Let me grab onto this trapeze real quick, and then just a dead guy comes out of the crowd. <laughs> All I did was reach for it. Just poof, poof. <laughs> uh, never have I ever used my phone to call someone while taking a shit. My brother, I had him come give me some toilet paper. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that counts. Yeah, yeah. God That's bless. the only re- good reason to have siblings is to bring you toilet paper. <laughs> you always call me when you're taking shit. No, like, yeah, you do. Like, call, call? Yes. Oh. FaceTime. Oh, that's true. Difference. Yeah, quiet. I do be facetiming her whenever I take a shit. Sometimes that's I, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call you when I take a shit. Yeah, but you Facetime me. I, I, I guess. Oh, we have a honeymoon phase. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Does that count? Yeah, we had a honeymoon phase before we started dating. Period. And uh, now we're just like it, it feels like we're like five years in. And it's been three <laughs> I months. literally was just putting where you were going, where you like five minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, never mm. have I ever had sex on my lunch break. No. I would say I was like Jamie. I know you have. <laughs> Remember what I was telling you the other day? Bye. Not bye. Yeah. Yeah. Tristan. L- yeah. L- lunch champions. Bunch champions. Yeah, bunch champions. <laughs> Somebody got fed, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll show. <laughs> uh, never have I ever had sex in an office. No. Not yet. Uh, there you go. Never have I ever... Uh, drank something other than liquor to get drunk, uh, i.e. hand sanitizer. Uh, gross. <laughs> I've never no. been that desperate for, to get drunk. Yeah. Like, no. That's oh. like a, that's something you put out at like an AA meeting. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not, that's not for the, po- I mean, I guess it's if somebody not, has that, done it. That's like, not like a card game. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh-huh. AA fun. <laughs> you remember that one time that so-and-so had a crippling yeah, addiction? This uh, this uh-huh. one is uh, this card right here. This one is just uh. <sighs> I'm running a podcast here. And I want alcohol here. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Uh, Aww. <laughs> this card is to start the intervention. The the, the one about the fucking uh oh. hand sanitizer. This is this is the Sorry thing. Uh. Never have I ever fallen down the stairs during a night out. Oh, hell. <laughs> I did that yesterday. <laughs> uh, our lovely guest from last time, who will not be named, but is the only guest from last time. Uh, I was there when she did it. Oh. I remember she. we were in the car the next day. She's like, why are my legs bruised? And like, why am I cut up? I was like, bro. Bro. Let me let me tell you a story about yourself real quick. <laughs> the person in question is going to text you and either say, "Oh my God, stop," or <laughs> going to text you and say, "I need new friends." <laughs> There's only two answers to this, and you're right for both. <laughs> uh, that would be like, "Oh my God, I'm squeaking." Yeah. Why you gotta go after her so <laughs> we're, not, we're trying to have her name out of this. Be nice to my friend who's also your friend. <laughs> uh, anyways, up. never have I ever spent more than twenty dollars on the dollar menu. Bro, you gotta be down bad. No, no, I have. I was down bad. Um <laughs> down bad but you know what i was down bad. no okay so i was saying, watching man called himself out like, oh, yeah i know i was like oh, no. with. <laughs> we spent 28 dollars on the dollar menu it was just on me and it was just on big macs so like i think i'm hypoglycemic i don't know i just remember i was watching suicide squad right and like i got to the very end and like it was a big boss battle And I just remember I was just shaking and I was stupid hungry. Like I was literally licking the inside of the popcorn container to get some sort of nutrients. And, but like in my head, I was like, I don't care if it fucking kills me. I'm going to see the end of this movie because I'm a diehard DC fan and I'm going to fucking do it. I die on this hill. And um, so we get out of of the theater and I literally get my friends, like they have to carry me to the car because I was too weak to walk. Like I was, literally just seeing like 
like flashes of white as we were walking. Why are you being drunk? Did you not alcohol? eat the whole day prior? <laughs> no, dude. I I have the thing is I get these like attacks. I'm pretty sure it's because I'm hypoglycemic. I I don't think or like I haven't been diagnosed with it because I've never told the doctor about this. So if a doctor's listening to this miraculously, um, I've never let been me know. Diagnosed because I haven't told the doctor about this very pressing issue. Yeah, bro. I mean, if it, you happen to be watching this podcast right the fuck now, <laughs> and you're a certified medical professional, hit me the fuck up, dude. Yo, as a pre-nursing, um, okay. I'm a medical professional. <laughs> yeah, no, and like, you checked out. <laughs> I just remember, like, I had one Big Mac, and I was like, I feel like I ate nothing. I ate like 15 Big Macs that night, like easily. Jeez. There's no fucking. That's a, Dude, that's no, a record. Literally, like, There's no fucking way. Have been hard as a brick. <laughs> like, ask Austin and Nam. They were both there with me. It was me, Austin, Nam, and like I think it was Raul or something like that. But we were all there, and they each spent like at least like like eight or ten dollars on me. And there's three of them. That's How? So much. How did you? Dude, eat no, that? no. I uh, there was one time my freshman year in college uh Bo and i had come back from the grocery store that day both of us had spent like 60 bucks on groceries and so like it's 120 dollars worth of groceries i ate damn near everything in that house because i had another episode like that in the middle of the night and i woke up at like one o'clock in the morning and i stayed up eating until i don't know like 2 30 ish three o'clock just i went through an entire packet of honey buns an as entire packet of pop tarts as you should an entire like i think i made like one popcorn and then i was like mm, it's taking too long so then i ate a, a thing of chips like a bag of chips like one of the it's big family things shit. that's why you don't feel like you're eating nutrients probably Bad things. but like that's the only thing that we had in the house yeah lest we forget this man said earlier i licked the entire <laughs> inside of a popcorn bucket oh. for oh. nutrients Ow. dude there's literally nothing else what was i supposed to do He's walk out the, 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 the inside of a popcorn bucket does not correlate with nutrients i was trying to get something man it's better than just swallowing air that's a salt lick dude that's for cattle <laughs> that goes out in the middle of a field <laughs> Anyways, what what are we all at? I'm at four. I'm at three. You're at six, <laughs> Sam. All right. Um, never have I ever said I'm never drinking again. I've never said this. I've never said that. I've never said it. Surprisingly. Because like you know those like prayers on the toilet that you're like God. I don't know if you're listening or not, but like. I promise never... I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah. No. See, I I'm not one to lie to God, so I was like, give me a week, give me a week. <laughs> i can last a week and then i'll just go back to drinking I, i'm pretty sure i've said stuff to the extent of like i'm never going to drink like this again ah uh, i will count it okay all right I, I, I've, I've, well, he's I've down to one hand please. y'all yeah we're all down to one hand five four and three we're in the club <laughs> uh never have ever been called out for having a pon- a boner in public you know, sorry guys. Yes, and Jamie, you're you're out on this one. I want to say I have, but I can't remember the context. Hmm. Um, I don't think I have. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because, like, you know, the good thing is that you've never been called out for having a boner. A bad thing, it makes you think, like, maybe it's just not, you know, adequate. <laughs> Is getting self conscious because people aren't like, dude, do you have a hard on in public right now? And fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you're damn right. Don't you see I this happen, shit? I happen to notice because your member was of adequate size, and I thought that I should mention it to you. <laughs> your slog was just fucking massive, and I just thought I had to compliment you about it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, this kid. I don't know if this is allowed on the podcast, but this kid, you know how, like, we would take the star test? Yeah. So, like, in, like, sixth grade, you know, guys are going through puberty and all that. This, during the star test, oh, no. he pops a boner. Right. <laughs> and he, I can, you just see him, like, clench his desk, and he go, he whispers <laughs> to himself, No. <laughs> meanwhile the desk is floating <laughs> no what's going on i look over and i like i obviously 
realize pretty quickly what's going on. Mm. <laughs> and he literally just stands up and waddles out the door. <laughs> Man should, man should have owned it. <laughs> the teacher didn't even say anything. She she realized what happened and just was like... <laughs> nah. if, you, if you're going to walk out because of it, you better fly your sail at full mast. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam, he was like I think... bent over like Quasimodo walking out. Oh, no. <laughs> when I'm a man Quasi. <laughs> no, as, a, as another man, I think, Sam, I think you understand uh, whenever somebody's like, hey, so, like male go and like present this thing and oh, the guy's yeah. like hey man can you get that for me or like go can you can, get your paper and the guy's like hey you got that for me yeah that 100 yeah. percent means that we have a boner that's the, just like random the hold your binder while you present in front of like <laughs> from like waistband to thigh area yeah yeah. Or like, hey man, can you go grab that paper for me that like she just called my name on? It's like, yeah, I got you. That's code for a hey, bro, cover me. Hey, girls have a whole secret lingo too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm, I am gonna have to bring it down to four. I just remembered. I knew there was a context to it. So short story uh, for the sake of time. Uh, my very first like semi serious girlfriend, my freshman year of high school. Um, she had an underwater camera, took pictures at the pool. I did a little backstroke oh. action, was popping full. Uh, oh. Got the pictures developed at Walgreens. So somebody at Walgreens <laughs> saw that. Her mom picked up the pictures and went through them first. She was the one that took that one specifically, handed it off to my then girlfriend before me, who then handed it off to me. <laughs> I remember being in the middle of Walgreens like, I could end my own life right now. <laughs> you just walk just, over to the fucking wine I, bottles, shatter it, and just go. I just, I ripped it up in place and just shoved it in my front pocket. I said not a word. I was so embarrassed at the time, but I think that, I think it's hilarious now. That is really funny, but That's ah. horrible, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for, for public <laughs> acknowledgement of the boner, I'm now down to four. <laughs> All right, um... Never have I ever done crack. I have never done crack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No kidding. <laughs> he said, well. <laughs> <laughs> you got me here. <laughs> I've done so much crack, the other four are going to have to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever danced drunk on top of furniture. I've <laughs> done that. Oh. So the time with drag queens, that was fun. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so much fun. It was we need to go to a drag show. It was my first drag show. I've never been to a drag show and I want to go so fucking bad. It's so much fun. So I went with my coworkers at the time, and I'll make this quick. And um my coworker knew the drag queen who was like kind of running the show, and she told her, Hey, this is her first drag so show. So homegirl pulls me up on top of the bar, dances her routine with me, and proceeds to take body shots off of me. Heck yeah. I'm surprised I haven't been because I, I'm totally down for it and be super <sighs> Kristen, who is familiar with my previous relationships. Um, I had one ex in particular, um, who Tristan knows very well. Very well. She went to a drag show and I haven't been. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is wild. <laughs> she was a, a particularly mild mannered person. Yes, me. very much. Um <laughs> Oh, my, uh, my, one of my dad's like good friends from high school was actually, um, it was like, what they're called, uh, oh, it's called corneation, not coronation, corneation. It's Fiesta in San Antonio. And, uh, no, uh, Addy, I don't know if y'all heard, but Addy gasped because, I know what's going on. I know yeah. what's going on in Texas. Woo. Yeah. So corneation, it's this, it's like a big drag show in all of San Antonio. And, uh, my dad's friend won like he was the main like he was the the big drag man and uh no. we got to meet we got to meet him and his boyfriend and uh he even complimented because it was at a wedding it was at my cousin's wedding and he complimented both mine and uh addy's um outfits, outfits and energy he outfits way, and energy the way we danced oh. together yeah and then so it was him his husband 
And then the wedding planner and his husband also complimented us. I was like, compliments from gay people are the best compliments. They're kind of hidden. Yeah, I, I was like, thank you so much. So I was like, you know what? It was, the night was about my cousin, uh, but I think we won. Anyways, <laughs> moving, on. <laughs> moving on. So it's three, three, and two? Yep. All right. Never have I ever hit on someone I knew was in a relationship. Oops. Hell no. <laughs> what? Oh, we got two different responses right at the same time. Just oops and hell no. <laughs> Tristan. <gasps> I, For the record, he's no more than that. I know that story. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Sam was wait, wait, there for wait, that wait, story. Wait, 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 Jamie. What? Look at the letter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. Cut, yeah. cut that part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to get the next card? <laughs> yeah. So we're all at two, or no, me and Jamie are at two. Sam's at three. Um. <laughs> Never have I ever danced on a table at a wedding. No, I did not get to do not that. Not at a time. wedding. Not at a wedding. <laughs> no. Never have I ever had an accident during my driving test. No. That's so niche. That's like a very niche thing. That's very specific. Yeah. Like, no. Uh, never had have I ever had something stuck in an orifice. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You had wax stuck in your ear. Yeah, I have wax stuck in my ear, but I mean, I don't think that counts. Count. That is an orifice. It yeah. is an orifice, but does it count or no? It's up to you, I guess. Uh, Jamie, our leading public health expert. I, I would not say so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because it, it, it comes from the body, right? Like, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't That's matter. like, it's like when you accidentally get a cucumber stuck somewhere. <laughs> in your nasal cavity. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> never have I ever drawn blood while having sex. <laughs> I just looked straight at Jamie. I was like, I know, I know you. Oops. Child, anyways. <laughs> we don't know why. Well, there was that time. Uh, yeah. Like, you remember that time? <laughs> yeah. Child. Uh, mm -hmm. Two, one, one. Sam's at two, and both of us are at one. A pure king. <laughs> <laughs> Down by one. Never have I ever engaged in hot tub foreplay. What the no. fuck is that? I don't think so. You ever get hot and heavy in a hot tub? Yeah. Okay. No, I haven't been on The Bachelor before, so. Uh, <laughs> never have I ever been a voyeur at a sex club. Damn. No. No. Maybe one day. <laughs> Not God, God willing. Not yet. <laughs> God willing. <laughs> you know, it's on the bucket. You've been on The Bachelor. Excuse you? <laughs> what? Please. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain later. No, you said hot foyer. I, sorry, I no, no, no. We were on a hot tub. I was yeah. on the last one. Sorry. Yeah, love you. Love you. Okay. Never have I ever uh, slept through my stop and woken up at the end of the line. No. No. I, I'm I'm like way too nervous for that. Yeah, I have like really no. bad anxiety, and I could never do that. Yeah. I think somebody's gonna fuck with my ears whenever I go to sleep on like public transportation. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I feel like somebody's gonna touch my ear, like give me a wet willy. I don't know. It's a big fear of mine. Anyways, never have mm -hmm. I ever got poison ivy from having sex outdoors. That would suck. <laughs> that would really suck. Imagine if it wasn't like like, like you, you like about it. <laughs> I, <you're> not, like... <laughs> I saw the I, wheels turn in behind his eyes. I have fulfilled both halves of that independently but not at the same time mm -hmm. so i had to think if those coincided mm -hmm. in any way and then not never have i ever kept a secret from my partner and when they found out it ended our relationship no no so count if the partner keeps a secret from you and the secret is that they don't love you oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> well, <laughs> out, get them out. yeek yeek <laughs> <laughs> never Go have ahead. i ever kicked someone out of my wedding okay that one doesn't that won't apply never have i ever been married <laughs> never have i ever 
hired a personal trainer because they were hot. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Dog willing. Dog <laughs> willing. Uh, never have I ever said the wrong thing during sex. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, the lone victor. <laughs> Did I really win? <laughs> yeah. You're down by one. Say. I don't know which one we got ahead of you on, but... Uh, I remember which one it was. I know which one it was for me. I don't remember the one for Jamie. <laughs> it was one of them. I couldn't tell you. I believe uh, for each one, it was something to do with somebody already being in a relationship and something to do with lunch break. Ah, yes. <laughs> the lunch break. <laughs> the lunch break. The- oh, dear God. Here it goes. <laughs> Cheers. All right. All right. So that brings us to the end of this. Uh, this one's probably a longer podcast. It is a longer uh, podcast, but it's been fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think it's worth it. Um, what are you drinking, Sam? I am drinking something. I was telling Tristan about this earlier, actually. I have some very, very, very good family friends of ours. We just call them family that live up in Arkansas. And this is an independent brewery based out of Arkansas called Black Apple. Where in Arkansas? They uh, live in the Jasper area, Jasper, Pendle. It's a very far north, Arkansas. Oh, all my family. I'm from uh, Monticello, Arkansas. Okay, okay. gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I went earlier last year during October, um, went through, uh, camped off of Lake Wachita and then did some trails for a couple of days. I've done that. My family's from Mexico. <laughs> Damn it! Tristan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no, they make these. They make these craft ciders. They're really low on calories, and oh yeah, they're they're, they're like four point two percent, and they're really yummy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tristan, Jamie. what are you drinking? Oh yeah, I am drinking a Modelo Negra. It's Modelo time. It's Modelo time. It's Modelo time. <laughs> um. <laughs> and Jamie, bring us home. What are you drinking? Well, I was drinking a Blue Moon. All right. But. Now I'm drinking a Truly. <laughs> All right. All right. A college staple. Bring it home. <laughs> All right. Tristan, uh, what are you clinking for? I am going to clink. Uh, for one, although I'm in quarantine, I feel like I'm pretty healthy. We've started working out. We've gotten our shit together. Uh, so I'm going to clink to that. And uh, I feel like I had something else to cling to. But mm, whatever. And I'm clinking to the fact that I'm healthy. So there you go. All right. Samuel? I, personally, am going to cling to the fact that I um, got a new job on the way, which is very exciting for me. Awesome. And uh, I guess I'll, yeah, I, that, that'll be my main reason for clinking. Uh, it mm-hmm. is all coming together very, very well. And then uh, I'll be doing my taxes and getting my return back, which most people yeah. wouldn't consider it to be a reason to clink, but that money <laughs> coming back to me from good old Uncle Sam oh, is yeah. very clinkable. Congrats so. to you. Clink to that. Yeah. Jimmy, what you got? Um, I guess I'll clink to, I mean, my birthday's on Sunday. And All right. I know the semester so far. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. Well, that wraps another fantastic podcast jamie thank you so much for coming on yeah, thank you all was... for having me i really appreciate it of course absolutely um tristan anything else to add uh yeah so jamie and i will be in in talking uh i mean we talk every day but you know talking more often and more in depth about the new podcast coming around uh I don't know if I said it earlier, so I'm not going to say it now of what we called it. I, Sam, do you remember if I said it earlier? You did not say it earlier. Not okay. So I'm we. Pretty sure you did. Oh, they both said that I did. We'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out at some point. Uh, if I did and you caught it, good for you. If not, we'll announce it uh, sometime soon. Um, but yeah, no, that's in the works. It's going to be a comic book podcast. Big, uh, Jamie and I are huge comic nerds. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's going to be me, Jamie, and possibly other people. Um, and it's going to be kind of a roundtable of everything going on in comic book culture. 
Um, so that's what's coming up in the pipeline for us. Uh, Duck Boys, we're going to be doing podcasts weekly as n- usual. Uh, maybe even a surprise podcast here and there during different weeks. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with us. Uh, Jamie, you have any last words to anybody? Everybody? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, good deal. Uh, well, as per usual, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been another episode of the Duck Boys podcast. Please remember, all quack. No whack. No whack. All right. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Much Bye. love.